Hey everybody, my name is Chad and today I'm going to show you how to do an inventory trade in QuickBooks Online. This is useful if you have any kind of uh, business that does trades with other businesses or with end clients. And I used to do this uh, by basically selling inventory to the other business or client for zero dollars and then receiving an invoice from them for zero dollars. But it kind of gets a little bit messy when you try to see how much actual profit you made on an item or what your cost basis would be. So I'm going to show you the proper way to do it. We're going to start by, let's take an invoice. This will load. So let's just make an invoice to John Doe. Add him as this. And since we're going to be doing an inventory based item, I'll add, let's say, a lawnmower. So basically, let's, let's set a premise. Let's say that we are going to trade our lawnmower for somebody else's weed whacker, and there's going to be a net difference of, let's say, $50, where they owe us $50 after, because uh, our lawnmower is worth $50 more than their weed whacker. So let's go zero, effective today. Inventory as it's fine. So we're going to invoice John for this brand new inbox, brand new lawnmower. And we don't need anything with tax, whatever. Okay, save and close. Cool. Now, if we go to our invoices, oh wow, look how much business we're doing. We can go down to John Doe's right here. $100 due in 30 days, perfect. Next, we're going to have to create a new bank account. Uh, so basically, the way I'll, I'll explain it right now, we have, let's say, our checking account, savings account, and this would be our credit card. We're gonna create an, another cash on hand account called the barter or trade bank. I call it the trade bank. And this is basically going to be where the value is exchanged in these kinds of transactions. So when we receive our $50 weed whacker on trade, we deposit $50 into the trade bank and then use that $50 towards um, the, uh, the bill that we're going to create for the weed whacker that we bought from uh, the other client, which will be named shortly. So let's go to chart of accounts see your chart of accounts and we're going to create a new account the account type is going to be a bank account cash on hand and we can just call this the trade bank save and close now if we go to the trade bank and click on it it should have no transactions in the register and there should be no opening balance now if we go to invoices actually first let's create a bill from Bob's, no, we didn't, no, that's not realistic. Let's do uh, Hicks Hardware. Okay, Hicks Hardware it is. So we're gonna add our weed whacker. It's gonna be an inventory item. This is, category is usually, uh, it's a different set from, from item. Items are inventory based items. So let's go here, inventory, weed, uh, is it WH or WA? I'm just gonna go WA because it's a it's a trademarked name. There we go. Zero as of date today is fine. There we go. And we bought this for fifty dollars, and you would attach your invoice or whatever PDF you want to the bottom there. So let's save and close that. Now we'll go to our invoices, and this is where we're going to receive the fifty dollar trade, and then use that fifty dollars to pay it off. So let's go down to John Doe's invoice, go to receive payment. Now we're going to receive $50, which is the lawn or the weed whacker, sorry. And for this note, we can put uh, weed whacker received on trade. And then we're going to deposit. This is the key part. This is the most important part here is deposit to the trade bank. Um, I many times have chosen to deposit it to the checking account and then it messes up everything. Make sure you do deposit to trade bank. And also the next time you do a receive payment, I believe QuickBooks Online will default to the previous entry. So it will default to going to the trade bank. Make sure you change it back. Otherwise, if you're logging a receive payment that was deposited to your checking account, it's like a wire check. 
it's going to go into your trade bank and it'll mess everything up. So just note to change that back on your next one. And then we'll go save and close, receive payment. So now if we go and check our balances, we have a $50 balance in the trade bank. Which we'll go to expenses, go to our latest bill, and we'll go here as Mark is paid. Now the payment account that we're going to choose is going to be Trade Bank, which has $50 in it. Perfect. Save and close. This bill now shows as paid. So now we own this Weed Whacker outright. And then we'll go to our invoices. And as you can see, we have a $50 balance that Hicks Hardware owes us, which then they can send, send a check, wire, cash, however you want to log it. Um, this is how it works if you have let's say a net positive trade where you're going to then receive cash. Um, and the other way, the opposite way to do it is you would just do, um, let's say they sold me a weed whacker that was worth $200. You receive the full $100 balance on your lawnmower. Um, use that $100 in the trade bank to then pay off the, or sorry, to then credit $100 towards the bill on the weed whacker. And then you would pay them the extra $100 for their $200 weed whacker. And then that transaction would be used to close it out. Um, so yeah, I hope that was helpful and um, that should save you some time and be a little bit easier to log trades and definitely make use of the uh, memo section of the payment, uh, the receive payment tab because that way you can log um, exactly what you were trading and, and what the value was and you can go back to see what was going on. But yeah, thank you for watching and I hope this helped out.